I've had people ask me why volunteer, it's such a waste of time. You volunteer just to make yourself feel good. My friend asked, why should I waste my time? You could be using the time to focus on yourself. What's the point? It's useless. Nothing better to do is it. It was tough for us. A lot of time to waste. I always feel like giving up. This is why we joined the Youth Call Leaders, Leaders Program. program. Growing up, I watched how lonely my grandmother was before she passed away. I felt really sorry that I couldn't be there for her. That's a regret I hold closely to my heart. This is actually the reason why I gravitate towards volunteering with seniors through the Youth Call Leaders program. When COVID-19 hit Singapore, all the stores were shut down, schools were closed, and basically the whole country turned into a ghost town. It affected everyone in different ways. I felt that it was especially tough for us in the Leaders Program because we weren't able to meet the seniors in person due to all of the safety measures. Really sadly, we had to pivot our whole program online. So this really threw us into a state of panic because firstly, seniors actually prefer face-to-face -face contact and a lot of them aren't tech-savvy. So we were really afraid that they might not be able to follow through our online program or even find us entertaining. People have this misconception that volunteering is all about delivering food or helping out old folks' home. But in reality, it's much more than that. It can also be very fulfilling and engaging. I was quite notorious growing up that I was just one case away from getting expelled from school. During my immersion program, I worked with kids and youth aged 12 to 17 years old. That's about the age when I was going through a lot of struggle myself. Having to engage with the kids in real life can be quite challenging. So when we were suddenly cut off from all physical connections, it reached a whole new level of difficulty. We keep coming out with proposals after proposals, and it really demoralised the team spirit. And it really questions, or is it really the correct way to engage with these kids? I think the reason that keep pushing me on is because um, you can always see the light towards the end. So just don't give up. When I first started volunteering, I was quite cautious about working with people with special needs. I had my own misconceptions about them. Like people would tell me, oh, they are loud or sometimes even violent, which I learned is not the case. It wasn't until a community partner visit we had in early 2020 that really changed my perception of the clients. It was the one and only physical engagement we had with them. And after spending a morning with the clients, really opened our eyes and made us see them in a different light. It made me want to do more with the special needs community. The pandemic certainly threw us a curveball as we struggled to move everything online. We were not sure how to conduct volunteering opportunities virtually and there were a lot of uncertainties about how the project would even turn out. Would we even be able to interact with them? Everyone was adjusting to home-based learning and working from home. We were not able to meet up in person. We spent months planning the project virtually, but I still want to do my part in whatever little ways I can. For me, I just want to make sure that no senior goes through the same loneliness like what my grandma went through. And I just want to be there for them. For me personally, I do want to bring value to society and give this youth hope that they can bring something positive to society in the future. I want to seize this opportunity to learn more about the special needs community and how to support and engage them better. Together, we can overcome adversity and inspire good.